Um, unbelievable how well Montana is actually doing right now. Since you were elected governor, unemployment has gone from 4.2 to 2.3, making you the fourth best in the country overall. One, how have you been so successful, specifically during COVID? And how are you statewide able to kind of help with inflation or are you able to? Are you able to combat that statewide? Yeah, inflation is top of mind for everyone. Our farmers are seeing it, input prices and diesel and fertilizer. Every working family seeing it at the grocery store and the gas pump. Uh, it's runaway federal spending that's causing the inflation. But this is what's so stark. I mean, you, when you compare the leadership from Republican governors against that in blue states, there's a stark difference. As you noted, uh, we were the first state in the country to eliminate supplemental unemployment benefits. That got people back to work. We have more people working today uh, in Montana than ever in our history. And as you mentioned, record unemployment. That's in stark contrast. We've been balancing our budget. We've been lowering taxes. We've been reducing regulations. Whereas uh, in blue states, uh, they're taking the exact opposite approach and it's showing up in the economic numbers. Is there one or two policies that you can put your finger on that say, we did this in Montana and that's something that other states should do? Uh, well, many other states followed us. I mean, we put the incentive on work <laughs> instead of not working. 26 other states followed us. Uh, we lowered taxes because we think that uh, when people uh, have uh, get to keep more of their hard-earned money, they can spend it better than government can. We're doing a complete rewrite of our state regulations. Montana is open for business, and we just announced last week a new research and development uh, for a major car manufacturer moving here to Montana. We have dozens and dozens of businesses that want to take advantage of our work ethic and our quality right. of life.